Hello. In this video we're going to look at the essential procedure for setting up what we call a scanning mode in the Skyscan 1076 in Vivo Scanner. What do we mean by scanning mode? Well, in all scanners there are combinations available of different resolution levels, different filters, and in some scanners different scanning geometries. In the 1076 scanner we have four different filters and three resolution levels, which gives us 12 scanning modes. Each one of the, these needs to be correctly set up. Furthermore, if we decide to change a parameter, usually this is the applied voltage, from a preset value, it is essential that we make some other adjustments, particularly of exposure time. The method for doing this is quite straightforward and will be illustrated by an example here. The image we're looking at is an empty field, so there is no bed or object in the field of view. This is obtained simply by turning on the scanner and not running the scout view. In the default position, the camera is um, beyond the end of the bed. Now, what we see is a uniform grey image, and if we right click with the right mouse button, we can turn off and on the profile view. The profile view is this line that gives us the horizontal profile of intensity. And it tells us that the average intensity is 86%. It's important to understand that this is the profile that we expect to see with a flat field corrected image, the normal corrected image. If we want to see the image without the correction, we go to Options, Preferences, and we deselect the first option snap image with flat field correction. Now we see a very different image. We see cellular structure from the camera. We see bright regions in the middle and darker ones in the corner. This is the much more untidy image that the camera actually sees and which needs correction with the flat field correction. Now it's important that the average intensity shown here in the blue text is close to 50 percent, say between 45 and 55 percent. Or why this? Well, there are technical reasons. If the value is too low, the image is too noisy, and the counting statistics are too weak. If this value is too high, then the camera enters a non-linear regime and approaches saturation. For both of these reasons, we aim for a, an intensity in the uncorrected image of 50%. Again, it's very important to understand that when we talk about this 50% intensity, we're talking about the empty and uncorrected image. Please do not confuse this with the corrected image with the image in the field of view. In such an image, the percentage can be a wide range of values and doesn't have to be uh, really adjusted. So, how do we adjust the mode? The current mode we are looking at corresponds to the, can be seen in the bottom here, it corresponds to the half millimeter aluminium filter and the applied voltage is 90 kV. You might see this with the standard high uh, voltage configuration set. Let's say we want to change the applied voltage from 90 kV to 70 kV. Then how is this accomplished? First of all, we click on options and enter the scanning modes and we select our mode which in this case is the 35 micron resolution level and the half millimeter filter. We double click on it and we change the voltage from 90 down to 70. We change the current accordingly so that it will reach its maximum value. We put it to a higher value and it will automatically find the maximum value. We click on OK we can double click again and grab an image. What we see is that the intensity has significantly decreased. If we close this and take another image, it remains the same. Now instead of being 50, close to 50%, the intensity is only 44. So how do we increase it um, again to 50%? To do this, we go back into the scanning modes under options and we increase the parameter exposure time. Let's increase it from 100 to 120. Now we can grab the image 
and we can see that we're back at a level of 53%, which is an acceptable value. Please note, the exposure time should only be adjusted in this way, when you're looking at the raw image and optimizing the raw image to a value of 50%. Please do not use the exposure time as a method of changing the image. You may ap appear to do so, but in fact an incorrect exposure value can result in saturation and damage to your camera. So the exposure time now has been changed to an appropriate value. One thing that's very important now is to retake the flat field correction. If I go to the preferences and put on the flat field correction again, I can take an image that looks as if it's correct, but in fact this flat field correction was taken with the previous voltage of 90, 90 kilovolts, and so is not correct. Now, we need to take a new flat field correction. This is extremely easy to do. We go to Options, Scanning Modes, and with this current mode selected, we choose the option Acquire Single. If we are scanning mouse, for example, and we only need the central image, and we do not employ the left-right offset imaging, then we can use the camera central position only. In that case, we click OK, the flat field correction is taken. And it's as simple as that. It's a very good idea at the beginning of each day's scanning to refresh the flat field correction in the 1076 scanner. This is very easy to do. As we've just seen, options, scanning modes, confirm that the current mode is selected, acquire single, OK, and at 35 microns resolution it only takes a matter of seconds to refresh the flat field correction. One note of caution on this however, when you first turn on your x-ray source it can take a number of minutes for its output to fully stabilize. So make sure the source has been on for say five minutes before taking your flat field correction rather than taking it immediately so that the source is stable when you take the flat field. Thank you.